Welcome to Nana's University. Today's lecture is all about illusion, intuition and intention. And Mother Mary has a special guest. We are a spiritual digital university, initiated by Shambhala, the control center for the spiritual evolution of our planet. Our mission at Namas University is to reconnect people to their soul and divine guidance, empowering them to live their true purpose so they can co-create the future of our planet as laid out in the divine plan. My name is Katarina Adari. This lecture carries the loving power of Mother Mary. I hope you will enjoy it. But first, her guest is going to address you. Master Teacher Saint-Germain Greetings, dearest students. My name is Saint-Germain. Today I am assisting Mother Mary. I am her guest. She will be speaking later in this lecture. We want you to know that many things are changing on Earth as part of the shift, including what you know and practice as intuition. Students of Namas University may expect their intuition to change, to be different than it used to be. Their intuition is reaching another layer. Yes, there are layers of intuition, 12 to be precise. The highest layer of intuition is equal to full manifestation of your soul's purpose. It's the end of illusion. What is illusion? Illusion is the age-old game you play on Earth. It wasn't meant to be. Earth was meant to be a university planet for all. That's the divine plan. The more you are conscious of your intuition, the more you help bring about new Earth. Intuition is bound to become a compound language of your soul or higher self, your body diva and your higher dimensional guides. It is a life-changing decision to become a student of Namas University. Those who choose and intend to be students, dedicated students, will feel a pull to being guided by Shambhala. It's energetic attraction. You know that our lectures are brimming with our energy and with frequencies. If you enjoy listening to our lectures, you are compatible with that. You're a match. This is because your soul has guided you to the lectures. We are here for a purpose. You too. If you follow your intuition, that purpose will manifest. This is not possible unless you're willing to live your purpose, to truly live it. Most of you have fears surrounding this, intense fears. These fears keep you from listening to and acting on your intuition. As a consequence, you ignore the directions your soul is giving you. When working with Katerina to prepare this lecture as she was listening to her intuition, the compound language of soul, body, diva and us, we unveiled her fears and she allowed us to raise them. This will have consequences in her life. For this lecture, when hearing its topic, intuition, Katerina restated her decision to act on her decision 100%. This got her into trouble, poor thing, because she got carried away with all the interesting input she received from other dimensions. As a result, she couldn't keep up with her schedule creating this lecture with us. Mind what you intend. Before that decision, we told her that her follow her intuition rate was much lower than she believed and she wanted to correct that. Do you want to know what happens in your life when you follow your intuition 
at the rate your soul desires for you in any given moment. Continue listening as Mother Mary will help you with that. The more you listen to and act on your intuition, the more your life will change. Many of you will try to avoid that at all costs for the reason mentioned, fear. That's why some of you seem to have reached a plateau on your spiritual journey. While you know there's more waiting for you and you don't know what it is or you know what it is, your conscious or unconscious mind decides to leave it at that. Following your intuition means there will be hiccups in your life, uncomfortable situations, as the baggage you're carrying around is leaving. The process as such and your new vibration will attract new experiences into your life and will be a mismatch to former situations. That's why we suggest you pick a segment of your life where you wish to begin with using your intuition more. Do baby steps every day. Allow your soul and your body, Deva. Allow me and others in Shambhala to coach you through your intuition and your transition to your next level of consciousness will be much easier. Do you know that dull feeling in your life? The feeling of being unfulfilled? You are fulfilled if your soul fulfills you. A dull feeling may reflect a soul's discontentment about not fulfilling you. You are creator beings. You are important. Your soul wants you to be in a state of flow, which is the fluidity created by your cosmic energy, your cosmic consciousness. Allow yourself to enter that state. Dullness is the result of being impatient and ignoring the law of balance of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Remember, it's the holy grail to success, any success. Read and apply the instructions in the Sanat Kumara's e-booklet if you need help. In anything you do, this is the foundation. You can and should build your whole life around this single law. Why do people ignore what they sense? Meaning, how come they don't do what their inner voice or senses tell them to do? It's because the answers are incompatible with their self-image or their ego's desires. Ask yourself. What pattern or fear is behind your ignoring the wisdom of your intuition? Mother Mary is going to help you find out. I thank you for listening to my voice. I bow to you. I bow to you, dearest ones. I will explain in my words how to understand your soul and the language of your soul and how to act on your intuition. I know you have had some tough lessons in life for not listening to your soul. You could not discern the language of the ego from that of your soul. This happened for a reason. And this happened to all of you because it was meant to be part of your journey. There was nothing you could have done to realize a different outcome. Conditions on earth have changed and are changing and you will be able to be one with your soul fulfilling your mission, your plan, helping create a new earth. We hope you agree that this would be quite a valuable intention. How to call in and use your intuition? 
in a nutshell, by quieting your mind, breathing and intending, all your intentions come true, sooner or later, depending on their vibrational power. So, be careful what you intend, think and feel. Begin your day with the intention of listening to your soul. It doesn't matter whether you know the name of your soul. Just set the intention. Close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. Get quiet. Set your intention in your heart. The affirmations at the end of this lecture may be helpful. What you notice during your day may be your ego's resistance against being what you truly are. You have family, friends, community and you seek to belong. We know this transformation isn't easy. Each of you and all other people may live the way they choose. Let them be and let them allow you to let you be. On this note, the following affirmations are designed to help you improve your intuition. Use them in the morning or whenever you are in a meditative state. From here, I suggest you design your own intentions together with your soul. Affirmations I intend to be guided by my soul. I am walking my path in my own pace. I allow my soul and intuition to be my coach. My soul knows what to do. I know that all is well. I use intention and intuition every day, more and more. I let go of patterns that silence my intuition, one by one. My intentions are powerful. All my intentions serve the divine plan. My intention for now is to be in balance, harmony, and ease. That's all for today. The Zana Kumara will be back in June to expand the library of your mind, as usual. We hope you'll be back too. I bow to you.